Um, we've got a we've got a JDA here or a little removal um, jaw development appliance that uh, we we use to make jaws a little bigger. So what I want to run through today is just the adjustment of it. So. Uh, in the first month we don't do any adjustment just for the patient to get used to it and then thereafter we need to do some adjustments and what we have is we've got these little um, keys that fit within a slot and there's a little arrow um, that point into the direction of the turn so what we need to do is we need to put the key in the little slot and literally do one turn like that and then go to the other side in the direction of the arrow and we'll just do a one little turn like that now we've we've had some some issues where we get uneven turning um, or that uh, the turn goes halfway back and then people turn that halfway forward but then we've actually lost the full turn so I just want to make sure that we we keep on going forward in that direction opening up this little space here in a con on a continuous basis and what I've kind of advised the way to to make sure that that happens is actually use the little key and just put it across the little gap there and use a permanent marker and just mark where that is and just look at the other side then and see if that is equal like that and then we can make sure that it continues to go forward so what this turning does is for every turn that we do from extremity to extremity is 0.25 of a millimeter so four of these turns will give us a millimeter so what I'm after is that little gap actually opening up a whole millimeter in two weeks time so if we turn it twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays for two weeks, then what we'll end up with is another little mark here that would be a millimeter further along. And that's how I would like that to, to progress forward until we say stop. So then we'll see that, okay, now that will have to end up further along. So if I do these four turns, One, two, a little fiddly, three, four. Now we should be a whole millimeter further down, as that shows. But that happens over time in the two weeks. So I don't turn the four all together. But if we see that we're actually now behind or further forward, then we just want to make these equal and see if they fit in still. So if we turn it too fast, then this plane here that needs to sit in the roof of the mouth and puts pressure on the roof of the mouth, that will then slide down and this these little attachment won't click onto the teeth and we won't get that pressure forward. So it, it it's if you have seen that you have made some mistake in, in equal you can try and win that back a little bit but be certain that that's fully sitting inside the roof of the mouth and still active um, but always we're here for for advice and, and if you want to make sure i'd rather see you than uh, get things right um, and that's the adjustment of these appliances the other thing that's really important for us to remember to bring that lower jaw forward and um, so the teeth can be close to each other like that um, or during this treatment and thank you for watching